Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I hope this isn't too loud. I'm trying something new. So we're going to see uh, how this works. <laughs> if it's too loud, let me know. I will try to work with it. I'm trying to find a good program. Um, uh, I'm using ManyCam to record, but I'm using other... It, it's very hard to explain. So I, uh, I'm just doing my thing. So we uh, left off drawing the face. What I did was I took my eraser and I erased all the graphite. And I took, for you guys to see, I don't, you don't need to do this part because you'll be able to see. Um, I did my hair, daughter's hair and it dyed all my fingernails. So I took my nails off and uh, I'm going to put new acrylics on. Anyway, so they look like crap and I do apologize. So I just sketched this out with my um, water soluble pencil. So you guys can see it a little bit, but you don't need to do that because you'll be able to see the faint lines. Um, this is, you know, these are my um, Stabilo Alls. I love these. I have them in all the colors and these are fantabulous. So I think before I go to glue this on, I'm going to um, paint. And I'm going to take... You can use a brown paint, but because I know you can use a watercolor pencil too. Remember, we, we're, we're doing mixed media, so you can mix it up. Let's pretend like this is a watercolor pencil or watercolor paint. It doesn't matter. And because I'm going to add just a little bit around here, very light. I'm not going to do it dark. I'm just going to kind of sketch it in kind of where I want my shadows to be. Been having problems with my hands, so please excuse me for the weird angles of holding up. Uh, a little bit here for like cheeks. Not too much. Uh, a little bit here just for a little bit of the nose shadow. And probably. In here a little bit. here anywhere that you know that will probably have a little bit of you know shadow I'm not going for real I mean you know what I mean I'm just kind of going because when I go in with my paint it'll activate it okay that's all we're gonna do so then I'm going to take my favorite, favorite face paint. You can mix your own colors uh, with your primaries and, and all that. But I'm going to use my um, Light Flush, which has been and always my favorite. And I'm just going to open it and take, I'm going to add a little bit of water because let's face it, I haven't been doing art <laughs> in a while. And uh, this is all new. Again, all new and fresh for me. So I will take my paintbrush and I will, oh my God, I will <laughs> wet it in the water and then I'll go in and just mix it in the lid just to loosen that up a little bit so it's not so thick and doesn't go on. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go in and I'll start with those darker areas and just go over it a little bit. And you'll see if you need more water, just go in just a little bit of water because that helps uh, activate the watercolor pencils or Stabilo. If you only have black Stabilo, go for it. And I'm not worrying too much about in the lines, out of the lines because I'm going to be cutting her out. And I'm going to try to do this the best I can um, and the quickest I can so you guys aren't stuck here. I know. Some of you like the longer videos, some of you do not. So that's why I'm just kind of taking my time with these because, you know, like with uh, different videos for different parts because, you know, I don't want to do three hours of a video. I was going to go live and then I thought, I don't know. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Now you see, now this paper is sucking it all in. And I'm okay. 
with that, but what I'm going to do, okay, so I'm not going to put any more paint. What I'm going to do is just go in with that little bit. It's going to be opaque, and that's all right. All right for now. All right, so I have nothing left on my brush. So I will dip a little bit. I'll go in a little bit of water, and then I'll dip a little bit more because I want it to be a little bit more transparent. What I like to do is kind of scrape it off, and then just tap it a little bit. It's ridiculous, I know. Um, so I'll go in here because I wanted it a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go in here. So I know I have to do here. I'll go around here again, just to get the bulk of that paint off and keep it light where I want it. In here, wet my brush a little bit to bring that along. Let me get that out this way this way in here not worrying about the eyebrows and all I can still see where they're at I'm not going over them too much uh, or the eyebrows eyeballs eyebrows just because it's going to be easier for you to see go over everything it also lift off uh, you know, a little bit more of your paint. And then you can always go in and get a little bit more if you choose just to kind of touch up, but I'm not worrying about it. I'm just going to kind of do this, make sure the whole, there we go. Got some stuff on it. And look at us. We got that painted. Now you can see this is mixed media paper, but you can see it's like kind of, uh, what's it called? Like, bleh, I can't think of the word, but I'm going to see if this is plugged in. Yeah. And I'm going to dry this real quick. Do you have to dry it? No, I'm using the heat gun. Um, you can use a hair dryer. You can go to your local uh, Goodwill thrift store. St. Vincent de Paul, all the things above, and you can get uh, hair dryers for like three, four bucks. You know, if you're using a heat gun, don't hold it in one place, but just kind of move it around to get that air or just leave it sit for five minutes. What's your favorite video or song put on and you'll be good. And I know down here needs it because it's a little bit more wet. Really trying to go around where I'm going to cut it. Okay. Sometimes I like to do the hair. I can feel it. Okay. Sometimes I like to do the hair now. Sometimes I like to do it once it's on. So we are going to do it once it's on. Something else you can do. I'm just giving tips. Not going to do it. Um, oh, there's my other paint I was looking for. Uh, see how it's kind of like wrinkled a little? That's the word I wanted. Wrinkled. If you wet this side on the back, it will flatten up. Okay. So... Um, like if you take your spray bottle, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I will. And just give a light spray. Usually. It'll flatten out. It's like a shrinky dink, but paper. the end of it for me. I don't really care if it's still wet. Okay. So now I'm going to take me scissors and I'm going to loosely cut around. I've done this a million times, I'm sure, but there are so many new people out there uh, who write me all the time. And you know, my stuff, I've been on here quite a few years and sometimes I do things differently and you know, maybe buying new scissors would be something to do differently, huh? And I'm going to cut this. Okay. And leave her like that for a minute. I'm going to get rid. Now, if you're thrifty and all that kind of stuff, take this, put it in a bag, get a grocery bag or something. And when you get enough, we will soak it and make paper from it. Why throw it away? It's right. You recycle, reuse. That's the fun of it. Not today though. It's going in the garbage. Okay. <laughs> I have so much paper sitting here I got to do. So I'm just going to go cut that neck out a little bit more. Go around. 
try to follow the best I can. Now, sometimes I will not do the head like this. I will not leave the top. I will cut it off um, and then do it that way. But I think this time, just for ease sake for you guys. Okay. So then you decide where you want her. It's hard to see the eyes and all. It's all right. It's going to be fine. Um, okay, I'm going to cut that a little bit. But let's decide. I like putting her to the side. I don't necessarily like her straight in the middle. That's me. Do you like her in the middle? Then by all means, put her in the middle. It's yours. But I mean, you see how simple all this is so far. Where, um, you know. So I'm just going to bite the bullet, as they say. I'm going to open up my Mod Podge, which I love. I'm going to get my brush. My brush is wet. I don't care. I'm going to put it in. It loosens everything up enough. And then... I'm going to go on the, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the right side. So I'm not looking at my background because sometimes it'll take me um, hours to decide because I look at the background and then I'm like, oh, but I like this, but I like that. And this year I'm just going for things. I'm not waiting till it maybe be what I think, if that even makes sense to you. But um, because a lot of the stuff I say doesn't make sense to even myself. All right. And you see, it'll dry. It won't hurt nothing. Just want it to be. So when I do it like this, I know that I have to make her hair flow that way. Okay. We know we're not going to have a lot of hair uh, all over the place. So it won't be even on both sides, which is completely fine. I will have it here. Cause then I can just do a little bit of shoulders there and then I'm going to push it down and I'm going to start doing that. But if I can find my, oh, I really got to clean it here, guys, please. It is such a mess. Everything is everywhere. I'm going to take this. I just want to push and push. See how it makes all the extra glue come out? I hope it doesn't get on my... Just so it helps with bubbles. Keep wiping that glue off. But if you go from the middle and just push and push and push, it'll push all that glue out. Now I am working on... Yep, I got some pink on there, but that'll be okay. I am working on a canvas that isn't um, flat. You know what I mean? It has the give. So rinse this off. I'm going to try to get this pink off before it dries. Yep. Good. Sometimes shit happens and you just kind of got to go with it. You get shit thrown at you. You make a shit sandwich and throw it at somebody else. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. And if you see like your ends are lifting, maybe you don't have enough. Now, if you don't have Mod Podge, of course, use a uh, glue wall or Elmer's glue um, or use a glue stick. I have used glue sticks. Oh, geez. When I started out, glue sticks are great and they're archival. A lot of people say, oh, is this archival? Is that archival? But um, glue sticks are just look when you're doing it because a lot of them are for pictures, you know. So I'm just going to keep doing this. And uh, voila, can't see it. That's okay. Brush is going in there. Going to close this because I will knock it over. Okay. I don't like drawing Mod Podge all the way, but I'm just going to do this for the moment, especially around the canvas so I can make sure those ends are down. But I advise you to, I, I would leave it dry for a five, ten minutes. That's when you put on some music and dance around or sing or like I said, pick two videos and watch them and it'll be dry. Mod Podge dries so fast. So I'm just going to go in with my hands and push. And like I said, I got to push down because and I don't want to push too hard because I don't want it to Sometimes when the paper is wet, no matter what paper, it, I can see there's a bubble right here. No matter what paper it is, um, if it's wet and you go to like do this, it'll peel. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want that. 
Am I going to have to just live with that bubble? Probably, because it's not coming up. If I go under here and push with my hand. Okay. I think that might have helped. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love when a face gets on. Okay. So now. So now. We are gonna, so you see how we are? I don't know why that's good, I gotta fix that, but. Okay? And we still have all this deliciousness, which I'll probably cover up a lot of it, but we will do this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this here. I'm just gonna put this as adding the face because I wanna go ahead and play and, and start doing this, but this is just one section that maybe somebody just wants to know how to add and they don't care about the rest of it. So I'm trying to do it in pieces. I'm trying to listen to your guys' emails and everything else. And I'm trying to live my best life for you guys, okay? Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about how somebody else is fighting. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do this, please tag me. I love it all. Um, but for the next phase, get out some uh, very light brown or a tan darker than this so we can kind of do the eyes, a thin paintbrush if you can, or watercolor pencil would be fine if you want to go back in with this. Um, and then pick like the color you want for the hair and some tchotchkes to put around. I have some, just to show you a few things, I don't know what I'll end up using, but I have some flowers. I might put some flowers in her hair or I was thinking about, I don't know. Um, I got these from the dollar store, okay? Uh, so who knows what we're going to do, but that's where we're at. And um, let me know what you guys think down below. You guys leaving your comments it makes me so excited. It really does. It gets me excited to get back in this, uh, to doing this. So I will, uh, I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. And if you wouldn't mind, will you share, share, share? I'd appreciate it. I love you guys. Bye.